Hey everyone, welcome to our call. One team is now a diamond team. This is our first team call as a diamond team. That is so, so exciting. And you guys, hats off to you guys because this team is a diamond team because of you all. <laughs> I mean, yes, we have a part in it, but this is your guys' work. And I just wanna say thank you guys. We, last month, okay, so it's been about a month, and we, at the beginning of September, did a team call, and it was, actually, maybe it's just leaders, I can't remember now, but it was like, this is the top of the month, this is what we're planning to do, we have to be strategic, this is going to be the plan, we're going to go for this and get it done. Lisa was going for emerald, a bunch were going for senior gold, and gold, and silver, and as far as I know, every single person that had a rank up goal hit the goal. At the last minute, I mean, Lynn squeaked in, like, <laughs> right at the end. So super, super exciting, and we're super proud of all of you guys and thankful for you all. And uh, just know that you guys have value, that we love you, that we really believe God has a purpose in each and every one of you on this team and the, the personal growth journey that this is going to take you on. I'll just say really fast that this journey, yes, we have products that change lives. And yes, we have a business that changes people's lives. But outside of that, something super, super huge is that this journey, if you allow it, will take you on a personal growth journey that you cannot even imagine. Um, growing in leadership skills, growing in personal development, uh, people skills, those types of things, those have value not just in plexus, but in every aspect of your life, whether it's ministry, whether it's family, marriage, relationships that you have with other people, that is all, all valuable. And so all that to say, I want to turn it over to Lisa Winters. She is our newest Emerald Ambassador, and we're super, super excited for her. So she's going to actually do some training. I'm going to turn, turn it over to her and um, welcome her to this. Thank you, Megan. I'm so excited to um, be with you guys to chat, to be on this team. I'm excited to just be a part of this. And I just wanted to start off by saying thank you to Justin and Megan for leading us so well. I feel very blessed. I know we all do for having leaders that pour into us and that not only do they uh, talk about doing the work, but they do the work. And so that's huge. And that's a huge blessing. They lead with integrity. So I feel so blessed. This last month was crazy and great and exciting and scary, but it was wonderful. But I want to share with something with you a little bit about um, the posture that we stand, that we're coming from when, when we share with people. I don't know about you guys, but for probably two years um, or maybe about a year and a half or so, when I would share with people, I would, we would get to that point where we're going to close the deal, right? Or we, we know the products that they need. And, you know, we're, most of the time we want everyone to start with triplex, but then, you know, we're trying to get them to, to order, you know, you get to that point and then it's that convenience order, you know, point. And in the beginning, I made a video about this on one team, but I just wanted to, Megan and I chatted about talking about this tonight, um, that it was at that point, I would always feel almost like I needed to apologize or I felt bad because I didn't want to assume them to assume that I was just trying to get more money out of them. Honestly, that was what I felt. And so because I felt that way, I was really fearful. Actually, that was part of the root of that. I was afraid that they would um, misjudge my heart. And so I would say, okay, so we can put a convenience order on, um, but you know, we don't really have to do that. It's kind, you know, it's kind of the way I would say it. And I did that for a long time and I didn't even realize that. And I was watching the training calls and I was doing the, all of this stuff. And then one day it just hit me. And I don't know if it was when I, I got tired of looking and Megan would, would constantly has said consistently, especially probably the last three months, Megan, or maybe six months, check your convenience orders so that, you know, our, the percentage is not where we want it to be for our convenience orders versus the new people, the, our new ambassadors. And so I would hear that and I would be, yeah, 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 you know, and I would check, but really wasn't, but I didn't have buy-in on that. 
until I truly believed, and I think it's what, 85% of the people, is that right, Logan? 85% of the people that sign on as an ambassador, okay, and they, if they do not put a convenience order on, 85% of them will not order. So you know what that tells me? That number one, I have basically wasted my time because I have done a great job at creating a Plexus skeptic because they're going to take it for 30 days if they take it for 30 days because we all know that people think they're doing it and they might not be doing it. So I've learned on this that I want to be checking in with people very frequently. Um, so when I, when I heard that and then I looked at how many I had added and I was chatting with Logan, I think it was last month and I was stressing out thinking about, you know, might you be able to promote when you look at the number of people that you've added, it doesn't matter. You know, if you've added 10 people, that's awesome. You know, I remember when, when my team added five, all, you know, whoever it was, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. But if your percentage is not high enough in the convenience order being on, then basically you need to look at it like you didn't sign on, say you signed on 10 and only five or six had their convenience orders on. Basically you signed on six or five because those people won't order again. And so it came, I remember I just thought, okay, I'm done with this. Like, what do I truly believe? I believe that these products, people need these products. I believe that they address root issues. So why on earth would I not have confidence and say to people kindly, I'm not obnoxious, but I'm bold now. I mean, I'm very bold when I do it, but I'm kind. I, I'm smiling. I, you know, I try to remind myself because I am. I do have that um, red part of my personality when I kick it into gear. I want you to do what I want you to do because I'm right and I know what you need, right? And so, is anybody else like that? And so I have to remind myself, hey, wait a minute. Let, let's have the blue come back up. Yay! You know, this is awesome and fun and all that. But I remember even like this last month, I feel like I really switched in September, end of August, but really the last couple of months where I, as I'm signing people on, I'm saying, okay, you need to at least give it like three, 90 days, three months. I mean, maybe 60 days, but you really need to do 90 days. And if they're not willing to commit to at least that with a convenience order, I'm like, that's fine. No worries. Let's get you signed on as a customer because we don't want people to have unmet expectations because that kills, we, we've all heard that, right? Unmet expectations kills relationships. It's gonna kill our business. If we have unmet expectations when we're talking with people, Plex is awesome, these products are what we need, but if we don't follow through, so we haven't closed the deal when we hit place order. That's not closing the deal if you do not have your convenience order on. And I wish I had known this, I wish this had been in me way back because we would have had so many more happy people. I look in my, and we're, we all have white lines. That is part of it. There will be attrition, okay? So I don't deny that. Megan and Justin aren't denying that. It is a fact we will have attrition. But we wanna have the lowest uh, number, uh, the lowest amount of attrition because our goal is to help people and then we want our businesses to be healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's if, if you're working your business, doesn't matter if you just wanna get your products paid for, that's great. Uh, if you want to um, make a thousand dollars a month, that's great. We're going to help you get there, but this is the way you get there. And then coming from a, a posture of confidence in the products in this company. Um, and I boldly tell people when I am sharing with them, um, we've got the best team in Plexus. We just do. I mean, I, I mean, I feel like we do and I, I love our team and we, we support each other. We're going to support you. I tell people that. And then I have to make sure that I do that. You know, and I'm constantly writing down what their goals are. When I sign people on over the phone. Okay. Some people don't want to sign up over the phone in Maine. We have a lot of independent people um, and they don't necessarily want to. So I think probably half of my people, I sign up over the phone the other half, when they tell me, no, I don't want to, then that's okay. I'll give them my information, but I make sure that I've done all of my work up front so they know beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is what you have not signed on if you don't have a convenience order. You have not signed on if you haven't purchased a welcome pack. This is what, but but it's a process. It's that 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 dance that you're dancing with that person. You just want to make sure that you're, you're going in the same direction. And then I'm going to follow through immediately, whether if they're on the phone, I write down their goals. I add them to my prayer list. They know that immediately. I, I write down their goals and then I'm checking in with them. Hey, how are you feeling? Remember, these are your goals. And so this is how we're going to work toward your goals. Is it perfect? No. Am I always perfect at that? No, but I'm getting better. 
and because my that I'm keeping the my vision is I don't want to lose people. I don't want people to say Plexus doesn't work or Lisa. Most of us don't want people to say we're we're frauds, right? Or we're sharing stuff that doesn't work, or we're just in it for the money. That's not true. These products work for us and our families. We all have our own individual testimonies, and so we're passionate about these products. And there's nothing to be ashamed of in that. So if I'm passionate about it, my, my issue was being the blue personality that I am. I'm stronger in blue. I'm real passionate about stuff, but my, my um, follow through didn't match my passion. And that's just me personally. And so I feel like now finally <laughs> my passion and my um, follow through are matching up and I feel different on the inside. I feel like I'm truly helping people not that I wasn't before, but I just know that I am helping them. And then when I can confidently say, our team is awesome, our team page, I just, I just tell them we're going to take care of you. And then we do. I'm doing them a favor. So that's kind of was my heart to share tonight was the posture that we're, we're standing in when we share with people. It's, it's with confidence. And I've heard that before on, the, on different calls, just like you have. But there comes a time when you have to make the decision where you say, okay, I'm going to draw the line in the sand and I'm tired of seeing the white lines. I'm going to see them, but I'm tired of seeing the amount of white lines and I'm going to do everything in my power to duplicate down to my team. If you have five people, you, if you have one person, you have a team and you're a leader. So I'm going to do the best to duplicate down and say, guys, this is how, this is a good business practice with Plexus. This is how we should work our business in this way for duplication and for people to do well in the products. And I'm not going to accept um, anything less than that as I'm going. Yes, there will be, right? But this is, I'm telling you my mindset. My mindset is, this is what I'm going to accept. There are going to be white lines, but I'm going to do the best I can do to get the best results and have people message me back and say, thank you for being honest with me. When I sign on with like different things that I've done, whether it's makeup, oils or whatever it is. I don't care if it's, I can't even think of it now, but I like to shop too. And if I am talking with someone and it's a program that I'm doing, I want them to tell me what I need. I don't want them to tell me what they think I want to hear. I want them to tell me what I need. So this past month in September was the first time, and I want you guys to hear this, and I'm in Emerald now. It's the first time in, my, in the history of my business that I signed on two people with 100 over their welcome back. <laughs> and I remember, I think I messaged Megan right away because, again, I was afraid. Fear had trash. I was afraid that they would think I was out for their money. When, As I was just being authentic, one of the person, I had never met either one of them. One of them lives out of state. Um, and one of them, I don't know either. And so we were just talking. I said, I just, to be honest, cause I got what they needed. One of them had lime. I said, you really need the mega, you need the omegas and you really need the X factor plus. I, that's kind of how I said it. It was a little, it was trepidation there. You know, they're like, Oh yeah. Okay. No problem. And I went, really? Okay. And so I did it again because it worked. And, and I'm just grateful because these people now, and I'm checking in with them, they have really what they need, not just the triplex, but they've got everything that they need. So I'm encouraged. I want you to be encouraged. Sometimes it feels overwhelming. Don't let it be overwhelming. How do you eat the elephant? One bite at a time. How do you do better practicing with this? One um, prospect, one customer at a time. You're not, you can't go back to the people that you didn't have convenience order set and get them to set it. But I can do, I can make the changes today and tomorrow when I reach out and when I'm following up, I can talk to those people and, and, start making these changes and we're going to make the, the direction of our business is going to start going in the way that we want and in the way that we've been dreaming because we're making small changes. They're going to yield big return. That's it. Very good. Thank you, Lisa. Yep. Yeah, I totally agree. And I know Logan has some stats for us and some, some good inform information to share kind of banking off what Lisa has just shared as well. Introduce. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. I guess I should introduce you. <laughs> yeah. For, for those of you who don't know Logan, Logan is, he is the not complete team coach, but the officially, wizard. The wizard. but he is, he's the official and unofficial team coach. The coach, what do you say for, for this region? Right. For Illinois. Correct. But we, we get extra work out of him in different regions also. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
he's so awesome. So please welcome Logan. He's going to yeah. share with us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lisa, you crushed that so far out of the park. You, you nailed so many, you know, aspects of the, you know, the convenience order, the retention piece, but yeah, I mean, piggybacking off of what she said. Um, so I was a little, a little off there. So 85% of those people that have their convenience order on are set typically order that next month. And then it's 10% order that do not have it on. So then it would be 90% do not order that don't have it on. If that makes sense. So, uh, I explained it a little weird when you asked there, Lisa, but 85% that have it on do order. So, I mean, obviously that just paints the picture right there. Um, but so with, with this team specifically with those stats, so I wanted to look at a couple things. I mean, obviously, you know, within, within, you know, retention, I'll, I'll talk about that first. I mean, within retention, it's so important to, to control what you can control. And just like with what Lisa was saying, it's, you know, those convenience orders, it's a follow-up and it's setting those realistic expectations for those people, you know, right off the bat. Um, so with this team, um, first thing that I wanted to look at was obviously the convenience order. So this is reflective of beginning of September all the way up till the last three days of October, uh, 164 out of 238. So right there about 70% on the team. So I would say that's definitely above average. Um, and then the next piece, so for May, June, July, and August, um, 942 people were brought in, which is um, truly amazing. I mean, obviously, you know, that's, that's post slim post convention, and it's just, you know, tons of people, tons of lives changing, but 533 um, ordered in, in September. So that's huge there. That's 57%. And honestly, like you were saying, Lisa, you know, controlling what you can control, there's going to be white lines, you know, that there's going to be people that, you know, they're, they're going to stop taking their products. But truthfully, that's an incredible number right there. Um, something to be, you know, super, super, you know, excited about. But, um, you know, like she was saying, I mean, people, you know, they join for, for one of two reasons. It's either to, you know, get healthy or to, to really grow a business. And, and obviously, it's going to be beneficial for that person to have that convenience order on. Um, you know, whether, you know, they, they want to, you know, take their, their products consistent consistently, or, you know, they want to be commission qualified to, you know, earn commissions, but a couple sets of verbiage that, you know, I'm a huge fan of that I think directly apply, especially to this team with, you know, the amazing support that everybody has. Um, I touched on it a little bit on Friday, but I don't, I don't know how many people were, you know, on that call that are here right now, but huge fan of like the, if I would you. So something, you know, being reciprocal, people are going to, you know, re respond better. And if you, you really are offering something, you know, you're offering, of course, the products, but, you know, also the leadership, the training and everything that goes into with the team page and these team calls. But um, so if I were to link you in with, you know, our, you know, my training, you know, our resources at Plexus, you know, our, our upline and our diamond uplines, you know, team page, would you commit these 90 days to myself and the products with your convenience order turned on? So huge, huge fan of that. And you can even, you know, tie on with, you know, just like with setting those realistic expectations, letting them know right off the bat, like, you know, hey, best case scenario, you know, these products are going to change your life. They're, you know, they're going to change your health and thrown into testimony. They're going to change your, your health like, you know, X, Y, and Z. Worst case scenario, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. Um, and the same thing with, you know, the business opportunity. You know, this, this business opportunity is going to, going to change your family's finances and your health or, you know, your, you know, both of them, but worst case scenario, 60 day money back guarantee. And, and truthfully, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you here, you know, remember when we had the, the five day money back guarantee for, for ambassadors. And, and honestly, I mean, we really wouldn't have a profitable growing, you know, company if, if our products didn't work. I mean, people have 60 days to return them and, and our return rate really, you know, hasn't, you know, hasn't dropped much at all. And, um, you know, and, and just, you know, like with what Lisa was saying, I mean, you all have an amazing opportunity to, to, to truthfully, you know, make, make money for yourself and your family, enjoy time freedom, enrich other people's lives. And it's something that's extremely ethical. So, I mean, everybody should be, you know, super, super proud of, you know, all these lives that you're changing. I mean, even, you know, at the home office, I, I really, being somebody that benefits from the products myself and, you know, my, my father benefits from the products, my, my mom, they all take them. I really, you know, I don't look at this as 942 people that were brought in, you know, even, even as a red green business coach, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not just looking at the, the numbers as much as I love them. You know, you, you really are, you know, all out there changing a ton of lives. I mean, like she was saying between, you know, Megan, Lisa, Lynn, Shelby, everybody that, you know, set those, you know, those, those lofty goals, really lofty goals, but you all, you know, um, you know, rose to the occasion and hit them, but you know, just like, so many people out there, you know, all those lives you're changing and, you know, you're, you're all just as lucky as I am to be able to talk to people on a regular basis that are, you know, having success with the products and, and feeling so much better. But yeah, I mean, great numbers here from, you know, everybody on the team, a couple of people that I wanted to give, you know, a quick shout out to, um, Janelle, um, Bonteco, 
everybody that you brought in from you know September and October has their convenience order on and, and same with Denise Becker so yeah hey congratulations there and then Lynn I mean 11 11 out of 14 people that you've brought in have their convenience order on I mean just the fact that you brought in 14 people I had to like triple check it for a second I'm like wait how many how many months did I include in here and, and the crazy thing is you've just been continuously adding people since you brought in and they've been continuing to order so I mean hey you know I mean I'm at the coaching office, I mean, we really coach on four things. We coach on enrollments, retention, leadership development, and duplication. And, and the truth is, if you have all four of those things, like this team does, then, you know, just, just you're, you're going to continue to see this is going to be a team of jewels. It really is. I mean, you, you continue down the same path and, you know, with the same passion that you all have. I mean, hey, you know, there's, there's going to be more diamonds. There's going to be more jewels. And, I mean, you're going to be changing tons of people's lives. So, huge congrats to everybody. Thank you, Logan. <clears throat> totally, totally track with that. And um, I think that, yes, if we're all super, super intentional about these convenience orders, because really we want people having success on the products. Like mm -hmm. that's my heart. And that's why I started Plexus was because I saw the products benefiting me. Like I, I, mm -hmm. I felt better taking them. I saw my kids, eczema, things are going away. Justin was my guinea pig. And I, I was studying the product, studying, studying, studying. I'm like, you know what? This is going to benefit more than just me. I think that I should share. And I was scared, but I decided to share. And so in light of the convenience orders, it, it's basically set, setting the expectation for people that this is not a once a month thing or a one time, one month thing. When you get on a supplement res, regimentation or whatever regimen, if they go to a naturopath, that naturopath is going to set the expectation that this is not for one month. Mm -hmm. Like you are agreeing to something to, to help your body be healthier, to help change things. And that's going to take time. There's that variable of time. And I know these products work. I've seen these products work mm -hmm. in amazing ways, P th ways that you wouldn't even understand. Like, it's like, how does it do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's insane. But you know what? I am convinced more than ever that this team, this opportunity, these products more than any other time or any other call, any other moments in my life so far is that this is where we're meant to be. <laughs> and for whatever reason, God has given us this opportunity and to impact people's lives, to empower them, to inspire, to encourage. Um, this is not sales. Like I, this is sharing. This is, um, uh, sharing with other people what has been a blessing to us. And so Logan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you shared and um, Love that you gave shout outs. I think that's so so fun. I was gonna give shout outs to everyone that ranked but I'm like so afraid to like, Go through my list. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna leave someone out if I do that. So I'm I, that's why I didn't name specific names But so proud of all the rank ups too. like you guys moved mountains literally last year and If you're new on this call, this may be your first very first team call ever and there might be some lingo that you're like I have no idea what a white line is. I have no idea what a red or a green is <laughs> But you will learn over time <laughs> and so um, I just wanted to say if you don't understand everything there Hopefully will be some little pieces that you will glean that you will learn. Um, it's, it might not even be something. Oops, I'm frozen. Um, oops, I was frozen. Sorry, the care. But anyways, if you are new, there might be things that you don't understand yet, but you will start to learn these things. And hopefully there'll be something that a little nugget that you can take away today. If nothing else, just to know that there's a lot of support on this team. There's a lot of people on this call. And so yeah. thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah. Justin's going to share a little bit. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody again. We couldn't be... Honestly, this team is uh, pretty incredible, and it has more to do than just diamond uh, rank. It has more to do than than with just finances and stuff. This team, um, it's humbling, honestly. I was telling Megan today, I said, I still, every time we do an event or every time I do something, I think all the way back to when she was – not feeling good and sick. I think all the way back to one specific night to where I told her, I said, God is going to use this someday to bless somebody. And no idea that it would turn into something like this. Uh, so it's hard for us to be proud. It's hard <laughs> for us. Um, I go to a, I'm not, I'm not a crier. My kids have seen me cry one time um, in their whole life. That was at the 911 Memorial. And that's a whole nother story. But uh, I'm not much of a crier, but we do 
team events. And I think back to that night when I told Megan that before we even knew what Plexus was. And it's hard for, it's hard for me to get proud. It's humbling, uh, honestly, to be in this position and to be among so many wonderful people that are on this team. This team, <clears throat> I got a call the other day and they said, Hey, I want to just congratulate your wife and, um, just want to welcome you to, uh, the, I don't know what he said, the diamond family or something. And I said, well, thank you. And he said, I want you to know that you guys are doing it right. And this came from another diamond in the company. And he said, I see what you do. I see the way you guys treat people. I see the way the team does things and your team is doing it right. And he said, I just want you to know that. So that's not, that's a team kudos. That's not an individual kudos. And I, so I want to honestly thank each one of you for, um, yes, the hard work you do, but also your friendship and your encouragement. And one of the neat things about this team, I truly believe that we're unique. And um, I believe we're friends. And this isn't just a one horse show. This isn't just uh, Megan at the top of the company or top of the team telling everybody what to do. We've never looked at it that way. And I don't believe we ever will. When, when one of the leaders on the team is down, we lift them up. When I'm down, I, the leaders on the team lift me up. When Megan's down, the leaders on the team lift her up. And yesterday morning, on Monday mornings, we pray together. And yesterday morning was an amazing display of leadership. Mm -hmm. And it didn't come from us. <laughs> it came from the other leaders on the team. So this team is truly unique. And it's a, uh, once again, it's a humbling thing to be a part of. Um, We're the ones that get so. recognized too. And it feels awkward to me because like when you're on stage as a diamond, you guys, <laughs> when you're on stage as, a, as an emerald, you'll, that's why people cry on stage because they're like, I faced my fears and told people. And I'm the one getting recognized, but they are thinking, we are thinking, this is team congratulations, yeah. not us. And this is, this whole thing is not about us. So just so you know that guys. Yeah. No, I just want to throw that out there. This team is unique and it's um, actually recognized by other jewels in the company. If they're going to call and just say, your guy's team is unique. Um, that's just incredible. Mm -hmm. And I thank each one of you for being a part of this team and a part of this journey and we want to help you in whatever way we can um, to help you to be successful. So um, just wanted to throw that out there. Also, I want to uh, share one thing real quick. There's a lot of, a lot of rank ups happening in the com in the team and there's more to come. I'm just telling you the team is on fire. Everybody's excited. There's future diamonds on this team. It's not a diamond team. There's, it's a diamonds in the making team. Um, I see the work that's being put in. I see the attitude. I see the drive. I see the momentum leadership. and the leadership skills and the things that are the tools that are being acquired along the way. Um, there's going to be a lot of rank ups. This team is not even close to being done. So um, I know that. And having said that, I'm going to look at a real practical thing here real quick. And I want to encourage you guys to think about this. As you continue to grow, as you continue to promote, um, yes, there are going to be some financial uh, benefits that come your way. And I want you to really consider, um, I, there's a guy named Robert Kiyosaki. He wrote a wonderful book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you haven't ever read it, read it. It's incredible. But um, one thing he says, it says it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. So having said that, as you start making more money by ranking up, you are going to be looking at more taxes as an individual. So one thing I want to encourage you to do before you get to Emerald, before you get to Jewel status, before you even get to Ruby, Senior Ruby, is to, uh oh, I don't know why I froze up there, but there we go, um, is to consider incorporating. This is just a real practical thing. Um, and I don't know all the answers and I don't have all the details for your specific situation. And I'm not going to pretend to, but you can 
uh, there's a lot of benefits to having a corporation over being an individual, especially as your income increases. So um, talk to a tax professional. I'd consider going to a some sort of a, uh, a CPA accountant that um, has the heart of a teacher, somebody who can teach you why you should do certain things. That's the type of person you want to interact with and they can help you to be successful in your journey um, versus, a, versus getting to the end of the year and then get a tax bill and think, what in the world am I going to do here? So, um, versus going to that other one. Tax person. Yeah, go to a professional, go to a tax professional. Um, the, the IRS and tax codes change every year and it'd be impossible to keep up with Washington, D.C. They can't even keep up with themselves. And uh, so, so be wise as you continue to grow. Um, be wise and find a tax professional that will help you to be successful um, in your business. One thing I wanted to share in this book, and this is a real practical way. Oh. So um, employees, if you're an employee or an individual, this is the way it works. You earn money, one, then you pay taxes, and then you spend on what's left. The benefit of incorporating and having a corporation is you earn money, you spend money, and then you get taxed on what's left. That's a huge difference. Practically and speaking, <laughs> huge difference. Huge difference. So... That stuff excites me. I love business and finance and Dave Ramsey and all those things. So if you have specific questions on maybe what that looks like for you, then reach out to me. I'd love to spend some time talking to you about that and help you with what I know. But for the record, I am not an accountant and I don't know everything you should do. Look and find a great tax professional that can help you be successful. So that's enough of that. Um, one thing, let's see, incentive. One thing I'm going to do, uh, and you can reach out to me on this. I'm not going to do it starting tomorrow, but one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a short video pretty close to every day to where I'm going to really, I'm going to cover the compensation plan and each individual step of the compensation plan, what it means practically. And uh, so it, we can understand a little bit more of how the compensation plan works. I feel like there's a lot of um, confusion and how we get paid and why. And I think we can break it down in some really short videos. So be watching for that. I'll give it a few days before I start. And if you have any recommendations or specifics that you'd like me to cover, just reach out to me and um, I'll try to incorporate your ideas into what um, what I'm going to share. But I want us to be successful, and one of the things to be successful with is the no compensation plan, and um, to a point where you're confident in sharing it with other people. Because business people want to know, okay, what's the compensation plan look like? Uh, I don't know. We get paid like 11 ways. Well, how? Well, I don't know. Uh, we need to educate ourselves and and to be able to share it with people with confidence because it's a wonderful compensation plan. Side note, I think I might have been Ruby before I really understood comp plan. So, <laughs> so don't be discouraged if you're Ruby or beyond or you're gold or whatever and you don't understand it. Mm. I was just helping people get healthy. Yeah, I was sharing the products. Right? I was, I'm passionate about that. Yeah. Numbers aren't my thing. So, They've had to become more of my thing. Right. But um, you can still get compensated and not understand mm. how, it, how, you, how you did it <laughs> or how it happened. Uh, one other thing, I've been getting some phone calls and messages, and then the message is this, and they're asking, so there's, some, there's some new people on here, and I'm so glad you are, um, and there's some not so new people on here, and I'm so glad you're on here too, um, but one of the questions I've been getting lately is, okay, so what's the secret? Mm -hmm. What's the secret? How do you talk to people? Or uh, what's the secret? And I want to share a quick story. Um, I think it's funny, but you may not, you may not find it funny at all. But so we got to go to New York city. I'm dragging my family through New York city at night. One, one of them might not even have shoes. I don't even know, but it was a last minute. Let's go for it thing. And a friend of mine said, Hey, you got to check out this Italian restaurant right off of times square. It is incredible. So we go into this place and 
it was the best Italian food I've ever had. And they had this pile of Parmesan cheese on the table. And this stuff was the best Parmesan cheese, hands down, I had ever had. So I asked the waiter, and he's like, hey, how's the food? I said, it is incredible, especially the cheese. I said, so you have to tell me, what's the secret with the Parmesan? And he leaned in close, and he said, the secret is, it's Romano. So the, the point is, I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, there's a secret here. There's got to be a secret to make this thing so good, to make you guys so successful with your Parmesan cheese. What's the secret? Well, there was no secret. There, and that's the thing also with, I think, a Plexus business. People will know, what's the secret? The secret is there's no secret. The secret is, is that it's consistency. Mm -hmm. The secret is, is that you get up and you do the things. The secret is, is it's not Parmesan. I don't know if you'll ever remember that, but remember that it's not Parmesan. That's the secret of the, you know, and I think um, it's consistency. It's not doing something one day, sharing some stuff with some people and then wait three or four days, five, six days or a week and maybe share a little bit again with someone. It's a, it's a daily diligence. It's yes. She is going to share. So I know it's, it can be very, very overwhelming for me to share this, but in network marketing, we share secrets, well, not really secrets, but we share, um, <laughs> we share things that maybe other, we wouldn't say if we were in a different setting, you know, sometimes we just brag to our moms type of thing. I'm not bragging here, but I'm just saying I have been very, very diligent and consistent through the, throughout the past two and a half years. Once I decided this is what I wanted to do, that I was willing to share with people, I didn't have an IPA journal. I just got one like whenever they come, came out in May, right? Those are the things that I have done over the course of two and a half years to grow a business, which mm -hmm. honestly, it's, it is a business. And it feels funny to say that it's a business because it's a passion. Like I love sharing products. I love helping yeah. people. But this is the way to, to be consistent and to see results. If you want, if you desire something different for your family, if you need an income, this is the way to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So in September last month, I signed up 12 people. And I'm not saying that to brag. And I know the danger of me saying is that, that is that some of you will turn off and be like, I can never be her. I can never be a diamond because I could never, I can never sign 12 people in one month. That, that was not just ambassadors. Those are customers too. But please hear me is that I'm not a special person. I have been growing myself. <laughs> leadership and people skills, but also I do diligent things. To me, this is wor the work of a Plexus ambassador. So, um, you know, hear my heart when I say don't use your, your color personality, and we talk color personalities in Plexus, okay? I'm, I'm a pretty strong red. I want to think I'm also yellow, and I'm somewhat green. I don't think I'm blue at all, but anyways. Um, <laughs> still invite me to the parties, okay? But anyways, the don't use your color as your excuse or whatever could be your excuse. And that's one thing, guys, my life is busy. Yeah. Like in, I think people want to look at me and like, how in the world do you do it? You must be de neglecting something. Well, one, I, I, I do make my priorities, but I do it a lot when people are sleeping. That's one way I do get it done, but I have been diligent and doing those things is what will bring you results. So that's just a quick blurb on that. I was going to share on that later, but. And they're typically not big flashy things. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of, it's not bi something big and fancy. It's kind of boring. And it's the same thing every single day. Reach out to your three, reach out to your five, reach out to your one. And I'm happy about it. When yeah. I reach out, my excitement it's, behind my message, I think helps my point be genuine and be, and get across that way. It's like kid, teaching a kid to read, yeah. teaching the kid to play the piano. Those things, I'm a homeschool mom, so that's all I know to, how to relate it to, but those things are boring things on a daily basis. But when you get to that recital or when you get to hear your child read a whole entire book and you are like, oh my word, it was worth it. Mm -hmm. It worked. Yeah. It's usually not anything big and flashy. Um, and another thing is, is you're going to hit opposition. I don't care if you're a silver. I don't care if you just stopped today. There's going to be some things. I was just shot down by a dream teamer today. Okay, no problem. Just uh, move on. I, I mean, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, it's just part of, you're going to hit some bumps in the road. And 
you just have to keep going and get up the next day and then just do the things. And no one responds or it's all crickets. And yeah, well, the next day you get up and you do the things. And, you know, you just, it's, it's nothing big and flashy. It's, uh, but there's no secret. You just do the stuff. And um, eventually people do respond or, you know, whatever the issue is, but it's just understand there's the, the secret is, is not Parmesan. It's something completely different and simple. So um, anyway, Michael Becker really liked that. That makes me smile. And uh, so, yeah, so I just want to share that with you. And, um, and it's that way with anything. If you study even, a, even some of the wealthiest people in the world, not that I'm all about wealth, but I do like to study successful people. And their investing strategies are very, very boring for the average person. They would be bored to death, but they work. And they get up and they do it every single day. And it works and it works and it works and it works. And the same way with our business. You treat it like a <clears throat> hobby, it'll pay you like a hobby. You treat it like a job, it'll pay you like a job. Right. Are you going to say that? Doesn't matter. I can do it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just going to have an honest moment right here and tell you guys I have never, ever been so unprepared for a team call before. <laughs> honest moment. Okay. I have been insanely distracted. Yesterday was a little bit of a Sabbath day for me, um, but very distracted since I clicked open a text on my way to a diamond celebration dinner with Justin of some people that I care about the most in the world that can't understand what I do. And I had to have some very, very hard conversations. And two of them took place today. So I'm just being completely honest with y'all. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this, but my, my, um, what I wanted to really share with you was the excitement that I have about Maui <clears throat> and the, the opportunity we have there, other things that are going on. So, I, but anyways, I just want to say guys, if you think that you're the only one that has hard things happen to you, you're not the only one. Okay. I was, um, in tears. Like I can't get on the call five minutes before. Okay. And I'm like, I can't get on the call. I'm going to be a fake totally faking it <laughs> because I'm so upset so upset <laughs> because when it's family that hurts and when it's honest moments and I appreciated all their feedback I I invited it I'm like let's get it on the table I want to learn from this you know but it's an agree to disagree thing and it's hard and it hurts and when you get congratulations from Everyone else in the world, but three people that really you care about the most, that hurts. So I'm sharing those things with you so that you can hear my heart on this, okay? So I might be all over the place tonight, but hopefully there's something you can win. July 31st is the um, Maui. I'm so sleep deprived and upset mm -hmm. I can't even think. Is the, what is the word? That's requirement the <laughs> that's the end of the that's the date that you have to be emerald by okay so right. if if you are planning to be in maui by then there'll be a lot of you that qualify i just wanted to i want to say if you're gold right now if you're silver right now if you just joined it's a possibility mm -hmm. okay but wherever you're at in your journey you are going to have to have a very clear why. You need to talk to your shareholders about what you want to do. We, we talked about this in the October Challenge. Shareholders. Sh shareholders are your immediate family, your husband, your children, if you're married and have kids. That's super important to get their um, permission to spend time with this, okay? Because it's going to take sacrifice. If you're going to do yeah. this in nine months, and it's possible, and you can do it, and I believe in you, mm -hmm. um, it's going to take work. It's going to take <clears throat> diligence. It's going to take everything that you've got, and you're going to have to grow as a person. The person you are today will not be the same person that you are in Emerald. And that might scare you, but it's reality. And it will change you for the better, okay? So I always think of a toddler maze. Do you know those little um, books that you buy at the grocery store for your kid, little kids? And, like, they can take a little marker and trace around the maze. But it's not an easy maze. It's like a, like a snail, right? It's There's little, like, blocks where you have to go backtrack and 
figure another way out. That is going to be your journey. If you if you're choosing, okay, I realize some people in this call are brand new and they just want to get their products paid for. Okay, but hear hear me on this. If you are if you are one of those people that want to get to a dual rank in Plexus, that's going to be your journey. Okay, in your ability to figure out how to get out of those roadblocks, you might have to backtrack and like go around. <clears throat> it, that's going to happen. Okay, your ability to figure out those things is going to be key to you getting to where you want to go. And I guess that's I guess that's the case for any goal that you have in Plexus or pr probably in life as well. Okay, and so I would say the biggest things. There's two things that I see. Okay, so one is doing the things. If you're not talking to people about what we have, <laughs> you won't go in, you won't grow a business. Okay, you won't you won't get people on your team. It's about team building. Okay, it's doing the things that we would talk about. And if you're not in the Rock October Challenge and you want to be in Maui next year, you need to message me or message your sponsor to be in that. Okay, because I'm going to be specifically training you on the things so that you can get there. Okay, and the second thing is self awareness. The more that you can um, one, pour into yourself by learning leadership skills, learning people skills, um, becoming a person of influence, um, and the more aware that you are of that, and also awareness on your team. Because as you grow a team, you'll start to see, uh-oh, someone's quiet over here. We know what's going on. How can I help them? Oh, you know, this person has these little difficulties that they need to figure out first before they can grow. The more you can be aware of these things, the more successful you'll be. I was on a call last night with a lot of people that are successful in Plexus, but they're not to where they want to go yet. But I was hearing, I was hearing from them that they're not consistent with their IPA journal. And to me, that's mind blowing. I mean, I'll just be honest with you. If you're a leader of a team, your job is to lead by example. And actually, I'm just going to read some, a little quote out of here because I'm a red. And so this speaks to me about um, who we are as leaders and, and being productive, okay? So um, good leaders, and okay, and it's gonna require, in Plexus, it's gonna be required that you become a leader, okay, if you want to grow a team. Good leaders always make things happen and they get results. And this is the key to growing. If you, um, not only are they productive individually, and this is where I had to realize that I was productive individually, but I was not, duplicating that on my team. I could sign between 10 and 15 or whatever people a month, but who cares if my team has no idea what I did or how I did it. That's not duplicating and that's not a good sign of a leader, okay? But also helping the team produce, okay? And so the outstanding leaders of every age are those who set up their own quotas and constantly exceed them. They are self-motivated and productive. And I will say, it's very important to be self-motivated. You have a super strong, this is what we're working on in the Rocktober Challenge, have a super strong why, have big goals, um, and then make those happen. And as a result of these things, they create momentum and develop an environment of success, which makes the team stronger and better. One thing that happens is that it attracts other highly productive people. Producers are attracted, and oh sorry, producers are attractive to other producers. Okay, so I thought that was very, very interesting. And also, um, I thought this was an interesting quote. There are two types of people in the business community, those who produce results and those who give you reasons why they didn't. And actually, Colin Powell actually said, you can, assert, you can issue all the memos and give all the mo motivational speeches you want, but if the rest of the people in your organization or on your teams don't see you putting forth your very best effort every single day, they won't either. People always believe what we do more than what we say. And this is summed up in one word, example. People always believe what we do more than what we say. Example is important. So doing the work of the work that we have to do in Plexus, which is talking to people, it's connecting with people, it's connecting people to um, products that work. It's connecting people to a business that works, okay? Um, without doing those things, your goals won't happen, okay? And so I just wanted to kind of reiterate that and also share a story, okay? I like stories, and it's more interesting than hearing me blab on and on, read stuff out of a book. Last year, in November, they had that planner incentive, which if you have not, if you don't have a Plexus um, planner, those things are awesome. 
love, love, love my planner. Okay. They're really, really good and they'll, they'll help you. So if mm -hmm. you need to earn that, be sure to earn it. And I think it was harder last mm -hmm. year. I don't think it was two and two. I think it was three and three. If I remember right, because I did not make it happen. Okay. Very hard for me to accept that I did not earn the planner. I saw people on my team earning it. I saw diamonds earning it. And I was like, oh, my word, Justin earned it. I'm like, what the? What in the world? <laughs> no. <gasps> Angie Ambrosetti earned it. Gifted me with it because she already had a planner she was using. So thank you, Angie. But anyways, um, I got mad after that at myself, not at any one person. But I was mad that I couldn't make it happen. And actually, someone that's on the call tonight was one person that said, you know what? I have to wait a week. I can't order it yet. <laughs> this is so funny because she ended up joining in February, I think. But anyways. Um, I just couldn't make it happen. You know, you have people, people have life, they have bills they have to pay, they have other priorities that come up or, Hey, they wanted to go get their, their <clears throat> pedicure done and their nails done instead of order plexus that month. Okay. So I got mad in December. I thought, you know what? I'm a bad example to my team. This is unacceptable for me as a leader. Yeah. And I said, okay, January 1st. Um, actually no, it was December. It was in December. still. So I'm like, but January 1st basically was the start of this. I'm like, I am going to message and, and invite people to look at what I have because I care about their health. This is not just all about me, but I care about people. And I want to share something that's been life changing for me. I've got to kick it into gear. If we're going to go anywhere as a team, I have to lead the way. Jessica Hefley said, if you guys want to rank this year in 2018, okay, we came off of a year of plateau or I don't know, nine months of plateau basically. She's like, you're, you need to add 10 new level ones by March. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing it every month. January, February, March. I'm adding 10 people to my team. And when I say 10 people, that included customers too. Okay. And so mm -hmm. the, the way I did that was I got into massive action. If you have not um, listened to Success Love Speed, my Eric Warren, go listen to that. That'll mm -hmm. change the course of your business if you do that. And I decided... There are times in our business where we maintain a status quo. We reach out to a few people a day, perfect. Okay, if you want to see massive action, or sorry, massive momentum, you have to increase massive action. And what I did is I increased massive, massive action myself, and then I duplicated that on my team, okay? Um, March was the highest, actually, yes, the highest month um, in the history of my business. And I thought, when people tell me, um, they try, you know, they try to go silver, and in one month, they're like, I've reached out to everyone, um, and everyone already done, does plexus, or they're not just interested. I don't have anyone else to reach out to. I'm like, girlfriend, no, because I've been in this business for two and a half years, or two years at that time, and I just added 20 people to my team. I think that was the number. It was an insane number. I think there was one month right after I started that there was a, lot, a big number, but please don't let that number scare you. Please just know. This is why that happened. It's the 90 day rule. And this is, it goes back. I always say that I'm not a numbers person, but once I started grasping the comp, the concept of numbers, I started realizing I, I, I saw movement in my business somehow. I, it was like a click, a light bulb went off for me. 90 day rule is what you do today affects what happens in three months because this is a, a, a farmer business. We are planting seeds. And then we will reap a harvest eventually. If you quit, you will not see success. Okay. And so the 90 day rule actually, honestly, love Jessica Hefley's video. I think I posted on our team page, or at least I meant to, is she was saying, yeah, I think it was yesterday. Yet uh, 90 days from yesterday is the beginning of the year, uh, the beginning of the new year. And if you're in uh, like Casey's in health and wellness and has a gym exercise, capitalize on that start yesterday <laughs> because a new year is huge for our businesses yep. and you will you will um, increase that 10 times tenfold if you pour into your business now instead of waiting till January and deciding you know what it's after the holidays I feel gross probably other people feel gross well, let's reach out to people okay and this is another thing I just want to say that came to mind I was on a call last night um, with other leaders and Jessica told everyone, okay, and this is regard, in regard to IPA. And IPA is income producing activity, things that we do in our businesses that will help um, earn money. Mm -hmm. And this is what she said um, in regards to some of these people making excuses that they don't recruit. 
I mean, that are, are not to the level that is probably um, important for their teams <laughs> to see and to duplicate and for them to grow, okay? She said she is crazy wide. She, she said she has so many people that she has signed up. Um, and she said about half of them came to her. And she said the other half I reached out to about Plexus. And she said, if I wouldn't have reached out, and this is addressing um, fear of reaching out. She said, if I wouldn't have reached out to those people and invited them to take a look at what we have, she said, I would be half as successful. And half of those people, half of them, their lives wouldn't have changed. Okay, so let that sink in. Consider that. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Is your fear too great that it's going to hold you back from blessing other people, for one, and also, in return, blessing yourself? So mm -hmm. I'll just think, I mean, I don't even know what I've all said because I'm so kind of out of it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully there was something here that you could glean from and take away because I feel like I'm all over the place. But um, also one other thing I just want to mention, I don't, I'm so unprepared. I don't even remember the date. <laughs> we are hosting a, a, a leaders retreat in January. And if you did not earn leaders retreat, the Plexus uh, sponsored one that we're going to go to here in a couple weeks, um, be encouraged because we are hosting one at the end of January. It's going to be in Tennessee. And you, the only requirement, at least at this point, or only two, is that you're participating in the Rocktober Challenge and that you're seeing your goal by December 31st. Okay, so I just wanted to say those two things. Do you have anything else that you need to say? Um, not really, just... Uh, the only other thing is, is that I think a lot of people, um, and I've shared this before, and I just, a lot of times I just keep sharing the same thing over and over again, but a lot of times I think we're looking for a rock star. We're wishing that we'd sign up a rock star. Well, you might, um, that'd be great, but I think one of the most important things is, is just to be your own rock star. You know, uh, instead of looking for them, become one and attract them um, you know rock stars and like I said they're productive people are um, attracted to productive people so you know don't just be looking for a rock star I think we should shop around and we should look for successful people but they're going to be drawn to success they're going to be drawn to um, shakers and movers and so so be, just go out and be your own rock star and because uh, all of you have honestly what it takes um, you've got the wonderful compensation plan that's already been put together for you. You've got the wonderful products that's already been put together for you. You've got a full a team full of support here ready for you. You've got a corporate office in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona that's got your back and done all the testing for you. It's just a matter of going out and sharing with people and uh, have fun with it too. This is a blast. I love, I love what we do. I love the team. And I love the company and uh, we're not even close to being done yet, you know, and I, I fully expect to have a whole group of people from one team up on the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, and I look forward to that day. I, That's more exciting than anything else to me anyways. <laughs> it's possible. And I look forward to that day. It's going to be a blast. <clears throat> All righty. Well, that's it guys. All righty. Thank oh, you. Got. Thank you. Thank you for everyone that popped on. Thank you, Logan. That was awesome. Yep. All righty. You guys have an awesome day. We'll yep. put this up on the team page for those that missed it. Thanks, okay. guys.